Hello, welcome back to the Grey Cricketer Daily Podcast, if that's what we're even calling it. Don't even know what we're calling it. What should we call it? I don't know. England are still fucking batting, mate. Mm. Day two, here we go. First test, Chennai. England are still batting. Let's give you a little summation here. Ian Higgins here. Sam Perry over there. Day two, England eight for 555. All the fives, or 555 for eight. Root 218, Stokes 82. Ishant 2 for 52, off 27. They're still batting. What the fuck is going on? Are, Eng- are, Eng- are England good? Are India bad? Oh. You want to jump to those conclusions now? Just, to, <laughs> just to get, <laughs> Before the other teams just, had a stick on exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pez, let me get into straight away the TJC explainer. The great cricket explainer after the day's play. It's your turn. Fucking flat. It's fucking flat. This thing's fucking flat. We've seen a lot of comments uh, for after day one. This thing's fucking flat. Does, do these runs even count? We get into some Warner areas in Australia where it's like, well, he scores a lot of second innings runs of the MCG when it's fucking flat. Mm. Side mouth stuff. Just protect yourself from the flies getting into your mouth. Mm-hmm. This pitch is fucking flat, Pez. So does that degrade? Does that denigrate everything? Oh, well, it's great to be here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Do you want me to just jump into it? Like, do you want me just to guess? I, I think it's starting to spit a little bit. I think England have done very well oh. to cover these two days of batting. I think they've made hay while the sun has been shining and hasn't it been shining. Joe, it's it, it, yesterday was a carbon copy. Doesn't, of the Channel, day doesn't Channel look like a lovely place? Yeah. Beach, nice beach on the side. Apparently that's the longest beach in the world, right next to the stadium. Okay. We'll talk about that. I want to talk about that because when I look at in, like when I look at like Australian grounds, right, or even in the UK, on other ends of the spectrum of the universe or the globe, and it's like we're all just in little corners and it's some green and stuff. When you're in India, you're like, oh, this is close to the sun. We're close to the sun here. Okay. Beach, sure. And that's why it's so fucking flat. Okay. <laughs> so what do you want from me? I don't know. <laughs> it's close to the sun. If you just had a bit that you wanted to get out for a couple <laughs> of hours, I think. <laughs> You've had a few thoughts sitting in your apartment yeah, alone for a while. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So what do we got? Did England bat well? What's doing with India and the equator? <laughs> <laughs> Is hey, that why that we get to flat? What, what's there with the equator, guys? What's, what's going on? Um, uh. Evident of equalised, you're happy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 as a Liverpool man. Mm. Look, I think you know England have batted with authority and tempo. They've done everything that you could ask of them. I note that there are some rumblings now. Michael Vaughan on Crick Buzz. Great rivals of ours for the day, for daily shows. Rivals are they? Yeah. Harsha Bokle and Michael Vaughan. Watch oh, yeah. out, guys. Yeah, yeah. Fucking watch out. Yeah. Harsha Bokle is all over this. Harsha's fine. Welcome <laughs> onto the show. Vaughan's already been on. But, but yeah. Vaughan, Vaughan's out there saying, you know, I- India are lacking the mentality of the best team in the world. Give it a second, Michael. Mm. Wait till Coley has a stick. Mm-hmm. Wait till Rahane has a stick. Okay, so that was going to be you know one. I mean? of, that was going to be one of my Let's three things wait. we speak about today. Right? Does India have the mentality to be the best? I mean, they've two ju- days in. <laughs> fucking two days. They've literally just knocked off Australia at the Gabba a couple of sleeps ago. It wasn't a strong with their Australian fucking team, though. Third grade side. Well, and now <laughs> Joe Root scores and runs like oh, I'm not sure about India anymore, are we? <laughs> It's always just the last thing that happened, isn't it? It's the thing that happened forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't know. But what we do know is that you know England did. They batted perfectly, really. If you put that to them at the start of the game, mm. you'd be very happy with where they are. Can we talk a little? I mean, so what was, what's your first question? What's your number one thing you're bringing? Your first topic point you, you, of your three things? Does India have the mentality to be the best in the world? Yes, they do have the mentality. And the yeah. population. I don't even think, is that a discussion? Do well, you know how many people, people they got in India? It's heaps. <laughs> I looked it up the other day. There's loads. Yeah. Fucking heaps of people. Yeah. <laughs> like we love trotting that out after they beat us, didn't we? Well, we've only got 26 million. Oh, well, million, mathematically, so, yeah. uh, doesn't explain New Zealand, though, exactly. does it? Well, exactly. Very good. Well, yeah. they only play at home, you see, so it yeah. does not really count. Exactly. There's always excuses and yeah. reasons. Yeah. In, in, India does, yeah. I sort of feel like with India, and the, and the people in the, in the comments can let us know, I feel like there's calmness from, from our Indian brethren. It's like... Mm. Yeah, though, yeah, teams get 500 here. I haven't felt watching the Indians in the field. Like, yeah, well, it happens, you know. We'll have a go. We'll just relax into it. Yeah, yeah. my feet are sore. Yeah. Feet are sore. That's flat. I have to bowl on that for a bit. Let's yeah. just relax. Game's going to speed up later. That's when we're going to be hooting and hollering. Mm. We, we could bowl you out in a session, mm. you know. Mm. So everyone just relax. I know some teams just getting a little bit to pop out yeah. of, of the wicket. So mm. I reckon they're, they're calm, they're chill. Yeah. India. Don't you reckon part of the um, Rishant Pant selection mm. is like – He's just having a laugh in the field. I think he's just good for the energy in the yeah, in the team. Probably. They're just like, fuck, we're going to be here for two days. Two days in the dirt, mm. as we say in great cricket parlance. Yep. Um, and uh, 
We just need a guy who's going to make us laugh. Th- Gives it a whack. Yep. I, th- I think India will have their, t- good their time in the sun now. You know, we're going to uh, mm. have a couple of days of that. Mm. Uh, and and they, know, they know how to wait, India. They're mm. calm. They'll mm. be fine. They've waited fucking 100 years, 300 years. Yeah. For this moment. Yeah. Is this to make Australia and England cuckold at their <laughs> yes at yes. their knees? Um, Pez, topic number two. Go. Is Joe Root the best player of spin in the world? Yes. Two hundred and eighteen. Back yep. to that's that three hundreds on the spin now. Yep. All these records that everyone's seen knocking about high score in a in a in your one hundredth test. That's a mm. very niche stat. Yeah. Well, there's. I mean, he's at that phase of his career at age thirty. Yeah, and I want to get him, I'm going to talk about him having kids in a second, okay? Because this is important. Mm-hmm. But he's at the stage where he's amassed so many runs. He gets to 30. Every game, there are new records. You can say that he's got, oh, he's actually the um, the mm. fastest to have uh, mm. got to 50 mm. uh, after 15 test matches. Mm. When you, yeah. The Wednesday after a full moon, yeah. in the first session, he scored the most amount of runs in, against in, left arm spinners. Indeed. Uh, that's also in the winter equinox. The winter <laughs> Fuck, he's a good winter equinox yeah, stick. It's a Let great game you. for autists. <laughs> cricket. <laughs> I've always said that Joe Root's a winter equinox stick. <laughs> Joe Root's got a problem getting out between the 180s and 230s, obviously. This, oh, is, the, yeah. this is the third time oh, it's now. It's a Steve Smith yeah, stuff yeah. when he was during the Ashes. Yeah. It's like, well, his problems are getting to 144 or whatever it was. I mean, the the good thing you can say about England's batting against India here is, here is that, like, having watched Australia on – flat-ish wickets at various times, mm. get themselves um, caught in a web. Mm. England never let the spinner settle, you know. Root yeah. was able to drive guys through the gap. Hit, mm. Stokes hitting – let's talk about Stokes in a second, but guys, mm-hmm. hitting guys over the top. No, mm-hmm. Indian spinners were never settling. Mm. He's a very, very good player of spin. Looking forward to watching him handle it when it starts really spinning and they're under pressure, which will yeah. happen. He didn't yeah. really get that in Sri Lanka too much, but mm. – I think it is fair to say that he's the best player of spin in the yep. world. It reminds me, um, I think part of his struggles, and he's still going through a three-year period where he averaged like 38, 41, and that's when he sort of fell outside the big, the top four big boys. Big boys yeah. And I'm happy to say he's back in He's back in the big boys. You can't score 300 in the spin in Asia and not be like, not hey, by the big boys. And, and let's be really clear about Joe Root and let's the Let's be boys. clear about this. Okay. I'm sick of not being clear the, about it. Joe Root, he's, the big boys is his natural home. Yes. That is where he lives. He lives. But he left. He left. He was dad and yeah. he left. He went to get a packet <laughs> yeah, of cigarettes. cigarettes never there was back. another woman. It was something. <laughs> but he, he left. Le- he, the there's of no whiskey. doubt. There's no doubt he left. But guess what, kids? Dad's home. Papa's home. <laughs> and we're fucking happy. And you know why we're happy? He goes. <laughs> why? I want to put you in a bar now. Viewers, you're in oh, a bar. Yes. It's roped off. It's velvet ropes. Big velvet boys rope. only. Yep. Mm-hmm. Smith. Coley, mm-hmm. Williamson, yeah. Root. Who are you having a schooner with? I fucking know who I'm having a schooner with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Root, yeah. okay? Smith yeah. wants to have an ice cream, it's not, yeah. right? It's not He's, like in the baggy Smith, green solving Smith's a Rubik's ster- Cube, is it? Smith's staring through you solving a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Coley's talking about conspiracy theories, yep. okay? Williams, Williamson's been too nice to you and yeah. it's starting to freak He's you out He's buying the beers. Yeah. yeah, and you can't really hear him through his beard. That's right. What are your secrets here, Kane? Joe Root, the last couple – and I, I picked this up on um, mm-hmm. Vatusha Nahantharaja and Will McPherson's daily podcast, Two Hacks, One Pro. People should listen to it. Very good yeah. English sports cricket journos. They noted that Root's had kids in the last couple of years. Only one of the big four boys has had kids. Yeah, right. By the way, mm. two kids. I've got two kids. No, Kane, Co- Kane just had a kid. Oh, okay. Well, fuck, he's about to drop off then yeah. because that's sleepless nights right there. And that's what they're saying about Root. Root's come out on the circuit. Yeah. We're behind the velvet rope. Here we go. He's finally had a night out. He wants to fucking stretch his legs a little bit. The other yeah. boys, fucking Rubik's Cube boys over there. <laughs> Conspiracy Steve theories, fucking he's into you about, uh, you know, yeah. Lee Harvey Oswald yeah. and, uh, and Flat Earth stuff. Yeah. And who fucking knows what Williamson's saying? Yeah. Buying the, he's off buying <laughs> us a beer, another beer. And Root, Root, Root would be a good schooner. Root, Root he's the most normal of the four. Yeah. And now he's starting to score runs. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm really welcoming him back. His runs are coming from his loins. There's no doubt about that. Mm. I mean, that, I'm surprised more people aren't talking about the runs coming from his loins. Loins. I don't know what it means. Do, perhaps you want to explain that. Well, I, I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you, you'll never know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not really the principle of media, is it? <laughs> Just secrets. You either get it or you don't, yeah. guys. <laughs> now, no, uh, now so, talk, so talk, talk, talk about a schooner. <laughs> Rudy's actualizing as a person. It's a psychological okay, right. concept. He's, stuff. He's, he's bringing every component part of him together. They're okay. all in separate components at different okay. times. But now Root has talent. He has 
prodigal kind of background to him. Yeah. Uh, he's captain. Mm. He's got children. Yeah. And he's now getting that single minor folks to score runs again, and it's all coming together. Mate, imagine, and it's fucking looking mate, pretty good. Imagine if Joe Rogan grew a beard. Imagine if he's out. Well, he can't do that. I know, but if face. he, well, I mean, Warren doesn't have hair, mm. but yeah. <laughs> oh, you're saying <laughs> well, it could think, be an advanced hair for beards. Yeah, maybe he needs to get involved in Coley's barber shop. Nice. I mean, Coley's natural. Don't get me wrong; he's all natural. And you did point out on the socials that uh, Coley did welcome him back in. He welcomed him back with the, yeah, with yeah, the big on boys. the field. That's right. Mm. Um, now talking about great pints and great schooners, Ben Stokes didn't he do well? This isn't a topic point. I just want to talk oh, about Ben Stokes for a mate, second. I, I mean, this is a rare thing. I would agree with Justin Langer on. He's he's. Number one player you'd have in your like in the yeah. world you'd have in your side. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's like the best player in the world, Ben Stokes, and the way he came out and, and has been for years, mate, as well. Eighty two of hundred eighteen. Um, Nadine was getting the ball to do a little bit as yeah. well. And he went, oh, fuck, I better start just playing my shots. Yeah, mate, he's a freak, Ben mate, Stokes. He, he fucking bombed. Was it Ashwin or Sunda? I think it was Ashwin. He, he came down the wicket. Yeah, was nowhere near the length of the ball, and just fucking bombed him over his head for six. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, no one else is doing this. Yeah, he got he. He chants his hand, no doubt about that, but it, how often does it come off with Stokes? Coming, That's the thing. Man, bat, coming in batting freak. number five yeah. in India, ball starting to do a little bit high skill, you know, and he'll bowl all day. High skill. He's, um, He's good. Uh, what, that was such a great partnership. Watching sort of Ishant and uh, Ashwin, and yeah. thank you to everybody giving us about 50 different views on whether <laughs> or not to call him R. Ashwin, Ravi Ashwin, Ravi Chandra and Ashwin, Ash. Yeah. I'm actually more confused. Yeah, I am more confused, yeah. but let's just go with Ashwin. Yeah. Um, he um that 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 little uh, contest was really good, mm. Uh, mm. and um yeah well Stokes and Root won that I suppose but uh, yeah mate I don't know what else what other superlatives are there for Stokes yeah, he's he, probably he's probably the best player in the world he's good eh he's good <clears throat> hey um just last one before we get into hashtag I said you thank you okay so that what was two was there two or th- I was, was going to do, do one more like okay, yeah. are these pitches good for cricket now like I, I was thinking like during this game like there's been a, in Australia anyway just putting the Australian lens for a second there's been lots of talk about the MCG and the SCG for the last few years now if this if this pitch was either one of those two cities it'd be fucking riots in the street yeah it'd be effigies yeah it'd be fucking all sorts yeah. kicking off um and there's two test matches in Chennai you got to wait till both teams battle on it but the, I've seen a lot of people commenting online as well saying like yeah Chennai's always fucking flat and ain't great. Um, it is an interesting one because I know the ICC pitch categorization thing yeah. covers issues like carry, for example. Right. Now, there ain't a lot of carry. I don't think anyone bothered bouncer. That's what I was going to say. Like, right, a sorry. game without a bouncer yeah. um, does somewhat limit the kind of variety mm. of, um, I guess, exploration of a batter's technique that you can yeah, have, right? Yeah. But on the other side, it will break up in a way that will test – batter's technique against spin mm. in a way that probably doesn't in Australia or other places. So it does have its extremities, Indian wickets, but we just haven't seen it yeah. right yet. So you've got to wait five days. And I like Indian wickets like that in a lot of ways. It provides variety. Mm. And I think in Australia you can often get kind of myopic and go like, well, it's not like the wickets we produce, so uh, it's not very good. But still, wouldn't mind seeing someone get fucking littered. <laughs> and that, just for variety again. For a little bit, yeah. And just to salivate. From the lips. Mm. Now, Pez, uh, hashtag Ask TDC. Hey, thanks Got for it. the questions. Thank you very much for the questions. Now, if you are enjoying this video, please do show us a like, a subscribe, drop a comment underneath. That would help us out a great deal. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, now, hashtag Ask TDC. We'll put the call out there. Let us know what the questions are. Let me, I'm just going to read a couple yeah, before we wrap this up today. Yeah. Now, Chris Dow said, with Joe Root looking devastated after getting out for 218, what we want to know is how many runs is enough runs. Basically, when is cricket good? Yeah. Um, and that is what they call a great paradox of a question because the answer is cricket is never good. Never good. Never good. No. There's always more runs in the bank. Yeah. You, you never get, I mean, Bradman hit 452, not out, mm-hmm. against Queensland and mm-hmm. was forced and he was actually carried off on the field. <laughs> That's right. And he was still shaking his head. <laughs> People don't know that. He didn't middle one when he was on 370. Exactly. That wasn't actually his best innings. <laughs> so the answer is that there's always more runs. Okay. And I, I, Yeah. So. That's the answer. <laughs> Last one. Uh, Luca Olias. I hope I'm saying that. Olias. Um, sorry, Luca. Uh, for getting that wrong. Hashtag I said to say, does Rat deserve a Nobel Peace Prize for helping root out with his cramp? Absolutely. Yeah. If that's what he wants. Fucking hell. Why don't people salivate? Ah, oh, the, oh, the sportsmanship. Ah, oh, I've never seen it. Fuck off. Would he's an just Auss- had a cramp. He's just there. I oh, just fucking push the toe back. Would an Aussie do it? No. Nah. You know why? Because it's fucking weak. And if a player is cramping, then clearly his fitness isn't at a level to sustain that kind of performance at test cricket. Fucking get off. Cramp the fuck up, mate. <laughs> Watch that calf disintegrate into itself. Oh, not enough now salt try, in the diet. Now try and bat. I'm an insecure male. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the wrap up for day two. Uh, we're going to see you guys. <laughs> you feel like you got across it? <laughs> what happened?
I don't know. I don't know. England batted. Yeah. He's going to have a go now. Yeah. <laughs> That's the game of cricket. Thank you very much for tuning in for day two. We'll be back More tomorrow. Questions. More the questions. questions. Hashtag guys. Drop in the comments. Shoot us a like. Shoot us a subscribe as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow.